Hey, what's up you guys? Kat from Old Reading Farm. Thanks for joining me today. In today's video, I am going to attempt to plant probably about 100 or 200, I don't even know how many, dahlias today. So basically all winter I was going crazy, ordering dahlias left and right, sending John screenshots and like kind of losing my mind. Um, so today it's my job to get all of those tubers in the ground. I will show you our 10 day weather forecast. So typically um, in our area, we say that Mother's Day is the last average frost, but because we're um, less than 10 days away from Mother's Day, I can see that there's no freezing temperatures in the forecast. Thanks a lot, global warming. So I'm gonna get all this stuff in the ground a little bit early, which is nice. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to get that all going. So here's what I've got going on. We we ordered dahlias from a ton of different places and I've been getting them all together and organized. Ones that came in a little bit earlier, I was putting into these little baggies that I got from Costco like a hundred years ago when I needed gallon storage bags, but that's enabled these to get started a little bit. Um, oh, here, you can see it here. So see, they've been able to start to sprout nicely. So, these are most of what we have. Well, everything in the garage is what we have. Um, those are all organized because I got some from Swan Island. Oh, here's one. I got some of these like mixed packs. So I took all the packs apart and like put all of the lights out together and all of the beautiful together. Um, those are all labyrinth. Uh, I got so many um, boom boom white so hopefully that's gonna be really pretty I just I don't know I was just losing my mind these guys are all onesies so I bought some variety packs so I was wondering if any of the onesies were gonna come up as like something else that I had already bought and some of them did like Cornell I ended up getting from like four different places in Cornell bronze so I got to add those together um, but this is everything that we've got. Oh, and these are all Cafe Ole. So those, I'm really excited about these and the labyrinth. I think those are what I'm most excited about. Okay. So I've also been super busy painting mushrooms in here, but I do, I need to get all these dahlias out of here so that I can really focus on painting mushrooms. So let's get to this. Okay, so I'm gonna need to figure out a more effective way to do this but carrying these things over one or two at a time is not really gonna work. Hi, Kenny. Kenny failed to show up for dinner last night, so he didn't get locked into the house. This is basically what I'm thinking. The label facing in, and then pointing at all the tubers, and then the label facing in. And I, I've already buried a few, but I'm just gonna plant them super close so they kind of hold each other up. Okie dokie, here's an update. So I've gotten that one, this one, this one, that one, and that one pretty much totally filled. And I'm about halfway. So I've got three left. And that doesn't include all of my unnamed dahlia tubers. John's helping me push the stakes the rest of the way down. So I was just laying them out on the ground here. And then I'm gonna go back and bury them in all at once. It's coming along. Okay, so I have two beds left and a ton of dahlias and I'm not gonna finish but I'm gonna bury everything that I've done and then I've got to leave to go start my dog walking day Ooh. <laughs> and then over let's see oh sorry we're spinning okay over here behind me those are the in-ground beds and I think so originally we were planning on doing perennials in there I'm just gonna show you doing the thing
So this project has spilled into day number two. Um, I got a phone call yesterday and got interrupted mid-sentence, so rude. And then I had to run and go start my dog walking day. So we have finished planting here and here, all of the dahlias that we're gonna keep organized and labeled. And then the only thing I have left to plant dahlia-wise are all of my seedlings. I bought two packages of the Floret Can Can Girls um, and those seedlings look so healthy, healthier than any seedling I've ever grown before. Kenny is with me. He's such a mush. Okay. So two packages of Can Can Girls. Those seedlings look incredibly healthy. I'm in the process of hardening them off right now. And then I also have a big box of tubers that either don't have labels or I only have like one of them because I bought a few mystery boxes. Um, so I'm gonna get those into the ground over behind me. I guess you were facing better before. So I'm gonna get those into the ground. So those ones with the stakes are the ones with the labels. And then I have a bunch of rows left that are completely empty. I saved one row for where the roses are gonna go and then unlabeled tubers, seed tubers, and that's that. And then John has also started working on, let me show you. This is where the squash tunnel is gonna be. So that's one side of the bed. And then you can see those four T posts over there. So he's gonna have a bed, you know, right there and a bed right there. And then the squash tunnel will go over those or between those two. So I'll also be able to plant, I have my zinnia seeds started. So once that's done and we get those beds filled, I'll be able to get my zinnia seedlings um, down there. So the dahlia tubers are in. The only thing I have left to do is the mysteries. Those won't take long because I'll I was I was really I was fighting my nature going like slow and steady and like trying to maintain labels on things and that's just <laughs> it's it's not my specialty. My specialty is kind of like go 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 go. So I uh, I'm looking forward to doing the unlabeled ones where I can. I got cut off. Don't ever cut me off again. Just kidding. Um, okay, so looking forward to just being able to dump those tubers and smash them into the ground. Um, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, maybe I'll show you just a few things. Oh, it's not really anything interesting. I'll flash up on the screen a couple of the varieties that I'm like most, most excited about. First and foremost, Bloomquist Jean. We spent a lot of money on these tubers. They're very expensive, but they're so freaking cool looking. They look like little Dr. Seuss plants. Um, Sierra Glow is another one that I'm very, very excited about. And then I have a whole bed. So each of the beds have two rows, one on one side and one on the other side. So I have one whole bed that's Cafe Au Lait down one side and Labyrinth down the other side. I think that's gonna be very, very pretty. And then one more that I'm really excited about is gonna be Penn Hill Watermelon. I guess these are all maybe looking a little bit the same, but very, very cool. I'm excited. I hope all these tubers grow. Oh gosh, I'm gonna to try to keep them alive. So thank you very much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.